I know what you're thinking. What the manufacturing industry really needs is another web series. Well, you're in luck because we made one. Fifth Axis is a leading manufacturer of innovative modular work holding components and automation. We're located in sunny San Diego, California, USA, and we've been servicing the manufacturing industry for over a decade. Manufacturing is a vast community full of really cool products and pretty interesting people, and we've set out on a mission to see and meet them all. We're going to show you the facilities and introduce you to the companies, people, and processes that get things done. In this episode, which just so happens to be our very first episode, we're in Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville is a city rich in history, and part of that history is steeped in manufacturing. In fact, in the early 1900s, Greenville was known as the textile center of the world. Manufacturing is now the second largest industry in Greenville. Aerospace, racing and automotive, defense, it's all here. Greenville's also home to Turbine Technologies Incorporated, a leading aerospace and defense manufacturer and, as it just so happens, brand new customer of Fifth Axis Workholding. Daniel Stone, Turbine Technologies, thanks for uh, sitting down with us today. Absolutely, we appreciate you coming out and uh, helping show what we do. Why don't you tell us about Turbine Technologies? Yeah, so Turbine Technologies, we were founded in 1963. We were originally founded in Connecticut, and it was around 2014, 2015 that we moved down to South Carolina and opened this facility. And our target market was IGT, so industrial gas turbine engines. And so when we came down, we really had a good foundation in EDM, whether it was high-speed hole drill or sinker, and in that, we did a lot of sourcing work for, for companies like GE, Siemens, doing that sort of thing, providing uh, that secondary service of just um, taking, taking design drawings, blueprints, doing these work scopes, and sh shipping them back to the customer. And now, luckily, we've been able to transition and grow. We all know these trying times. And so we've been able to pivot and reallocate some resources and grow into this conventional work. I, I've, I've been to your facility twice, and both times the first thing that jumps out at me is the amount of titanium raw material that's here, but not even necessarily the amount, the size of some of the, the raw stock that you're working with here at Turbine Technologies. After 1950, titanium changed from a laboratory curiosity to an important commercially produced structural metal. Titanium is lightweight, low corrosion. Its combination of high strength, low density, and excellent corrosion resistance make it really useful for parts used in aircraft, spacecraft, medical, and even defense manufacturing. Pure titanium is ductile, about half as dense as iron, and less than twice as dense as aluminum. Can you share with us some of the challenges that you face? I mean, titanium is, is known to be a, a difficult uh, material to kind of machine on. So you, you bring up the challenges of working with titanium and the size of the titanium. And it's like, you have a 150, 200 pound piece of metal. How, how do we get it into the machine to hold it? And then once you get it in the machine, you gotta hold it repeatedly, doing high tolerance parts with multiple fixture setups. And then, so that's on the front end. When you get diving into it, titanium does not like heat doesn't take it, doesn't like to be machined, and so you have to start looking at leveraging different technologies. And so with these titanium components, a lot of the times they're weird shapes, odd geometries, so you're having to get these large block stock pieces that encompass that geometry. And so it's been, it's been really neat to apply different technologies and get plugged into people like Fifth Axis to better understand how you can hold these work pieces and machine them all the way to finish in very few ops, hopefully and sometimes only one. We've been able to leverage that dovetail and the, the grooves that are in the dovetails so that we can hold on to less material and get to more surfaces of the finished part. Turbine Technologies also has the pleasure of machining titanium in five-axis machining centers. When someone uses the term five-axis, they're typically referring to the ability of a CNC machine tool to move a part or a tool on five different CNC axes at the same time. Basic machine tools operate on three primary axes, X, Y, and Z. But a five-axis CNC machine tool can rotate two additional axes, 
usually A or B, and a C. To take full advantage of a five-axis machine tool, the work holding has to allow for access to all five sides of the part. Titanium is expensive, so the work holding must also offer great accessibility while clamping on the least amount of possible material. All that without jeopardizing holding power or rigidity. How familiar were you going into this with the modular work holding, you know, that type of quick exchange? How, how familiar were you with the modular work holding just in general? One of the biggest difficulties was understanding how we can use modular work holding with these raw pieces of stock. Um, obviously you get all sorts of jobs coming across the table, they need new quotes. We got all sorts of different shapes, sizes, different materials, and how do we le leverage modular work holding for these different sizes? And one of those areas was utilizing fifth axis's self-centering vise so that we can clamp onto these work holdings with very little material and also hold a, a vast array of different sizes. So Daniel, this is an example of uh, some of the large titanium pieces you do. And in fact, this is one of the work pieces we discussed earlier. And like you said, man, you can tell this is just a big old plate of material. Yeah, this, this thing is very wide and long for relatively how thick it is. And one of the risks that you run when you start cutting it away is if there's any stored stress or anything in this type of material, it's gonna show up when you start whittling it down and getting, getting, getting it to even a thinner profile. Um, and so that was where we, we wanted to try to use this dovetail on the top and bottom of the workpiece so that we can flip it back and forth several times to let the material stress relieve over time. Yeah, and we actually have examples of that right here. I mean, so effectively, once you're done machining that operation, this, this is all that's left of this big plate. Yep, the, the work supports are on the outside with the dovetails and the part is just floating in the middle with very thin bands of material holding onto the part. So you mentioned the accessibility and the holding power that the dovetail gave you on this particular part, but was the repeatability advantageous? Absolutely. One of, the, one of the things that we had to do with this part was, was let go of it, flip it, regrip it. And so that's interesting. So you actually had a dovetail on both sides of that plate and we're flipping it op to op. So I mean one operation but multiple processes within it. We actually used two dovetail vices, lined them up so that their centers were on center with each other and then being able to use that self-centering feature be able to repeatedly flip this part back and forth and take out any potential stress relieving that was going to occur before taking the part all the way to finish. How did you find fifth axis and how did you start kind of connecting in your head that this is the solution that might actually solve this manufacturing challenge for us? One of the, one of the most important things for a young engineer, I think, is to reach out to supplier resources make contacts and rela relationships with those people that represent those different companies. One of those people for us was John Huggins. He was really integral in helping us identify what kind of cutter geometry we want to use to tackle the, uh, the titanium in the machining aspect. But the other thing that he was great for was serving as a representative for Fifth Axis and understanding that this is a, a fairly unique part and isn't going to be a straightforward solution when it came to the work holding. So the first thing that came to his mind was fifth axis uh, with having unique solutions for demanding operations. We started looking at the fifth axis product line and settled on these dovetail vices that were able to give us this modular work holding and the flexibility to use it for this project and others to come. What was your first impression of working with us? The product, when it came in, was fantastic. I mean, the, the, the fit and the finishes of all the components, the lead screw came in fully lubricated, all the, the motion and the actions were smooth and tight, and there was that, that resistance that you expect to feel when you have smooth, tight-fitting mating surfaces. The nicest thing about that is when you go onto the website, you pull your CAD and CAM models out, you plug it in your fixture, it works on the computer, you get it in real life, you put everything together and it works in real life. And that, that makes all the difference in manufacturing when, when things just go together. Absolutely. And now, I mean, knowing what you know, how much emphasis would you put in making sure that you have the correct tools, the correct work holding, 
getting away from like bulky dedicated fixtures. Yeah, it, it makes a world of a difference in processing parts. And usually our area that we work in is low volume, high mix. So when you start dumping money into standalone fixtures, you, you run the risk of losing all your profitability in a job with fixture. And so with having this modular fixturing and five axis, you have the ability to, to spread your fixturing dollars across many jobs and being able to, to line your pockets at the same time with profitable work. So Daniel, I, I really want to thank you and Turbine Technologies for being so gracious, opening up, uh, you know, peeling back the curtain and giving us a, a look inside your impressive manufacturing facility. Uh, can't thank you enough for your time. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate you and the crew coming out. Uh, we really appreciate all the support you've been able to provide us in this growing relationship that we hope to, to grow even further in the future. Excellent. We want to thank Turbine Technologies Incorporated for peeling back the curtain and giving us a look inside their impressive facility. What a great experience to learn about their company, processes, and products, and just how Fifth Axis fits into all those. Even though work holding is an important piece of their manufacturing puzzle, this episode wasn't just about work holding. This episode was about a manufacturer using modular solutions and new technologies to expand capabilities and increase manufacturing capacity. It's about manufacturing efficiently, reducing costs, and increasing profits. This episode wasn't just about work holding. This episode was about work holding evolved. <laughs>